let's go ahead and create a button. So we go to UI, create a button. You notice that we create the canvas and the event system uh, as we go. Um, you'll notice, also notice that we're actually in 3D mode here. So our button is quite big compared to the, the actual world that it's gonna uh, take part in. So we are gonna move into 2D and scroll out just a little bit just so we can get our button centered on the screen there. Um, <clears throat> doesn't really matter where we're gonna do it because we're dealing with the, the click event. Now, I like to have the, the canvas as my uh, sort of primary object. So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna add a new script onto here. And I'm gonna call this one the view model. Um, you can call it view controller or whatever, but I'm going to call it the view model. Um, <clears throat> tainted by Microsoft's Windows Presentation Foundation, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this. And let that open up in the background. And meanwhile, I'm going to go back to my button here. So my button has a series of event handlers over here. So we have on click and we have our list being empty. What we're gonna do is we need to create a method that we can attach to be our on click down here. Now on click, uh, you can actually pass in one parameter uh, to, to this function. So um, that's kind of handy in, in certain ways, so in some ways, but we're just gonna have an on click event here. So. We will we'll have a public void um, and we'll just leave it as that. So we have our view model and we have our button click. This is our event handler. So this is what happens when we click that button. And we're gonna display something in here. Now, I recommend that you have uh, glue code inside your uh, scene that handles all the transitions between uh, your UI and your in-game objects. Don't add UI specific things to your in-game objects. Have this. Uh, intermediate class here because it will keep your in-game objects clean so if you need to use them in any other projects uh, they're they're spared the the uh, the UI link in there okay so if we go back to our code here uh, we're gonna add that script to our canvas and you see that we have our view model here we have our script uh, now we can select our button and add an event to our button. We drag our canvas over that contains our view model script. And then in here we have our function list. So if you scroll down here, you'll see that we have a view model and right down here, we should have a button click method, which is correct. So if we choose that, we now have our canvas object set, our view model button click event set, and when we run our scene, and click the button, we get our message appearing. 